contest master, my fellow Toastmasters, or welcome guests, and exceptionally, Mr. Jay Jowitz. Jay, your speech was inspirational and impactful. As a speaker of the bat, you had several things going for you. Number one, your stage presence. Your speech actually started prior to getting up here. I watched how motivated you are to get in front of us, your energy and your enthusiasm, your attire, your well-groomed appearance made me want to know who is he and what does he have to say? Very effective. The second thing you had going for you, Jay, was your eye contact. You know how to reach your audience with piercing yet believing eye contact. It is said, that if you're able to look someone in the eye when you're speaking to them, that makes them believe what you're saying. And it adds credibility to you. You were able to accomplish that. The next thing that you had working for you, Jay, was your body language. It is said that majority of one's speech has to do with their body language. If a deaf person was in the room today, they would have heard you based on your body language. Wonderfully done. The third thing that Jay had working for him was his ability to tell stories. It is said that facts tell, but stories, Jay, they sell. When you tell personal stories, you automatically captivate your audience. It makes them want to hear what you have to say. Well done. Jay, the following are a few recommendations that if considered will propel your next speech to further dimension. Here we go. Number one, proper usage of the stage. I noticed you started down here and you kind of stayed towards the center. If you had gone over to your right, so your audience could relate to you more, and then when you make your next point, you move over to the left, so we over here could relate to you more, and if you continue throughout your speech, navigate yourself back to the center, and relate to your audience using more hand gesture, it would have knocked it off the park. So consider your stage usage. The next recommendation to consider is effective usage of pauses. As you go throughout your speech, I noticed you were kind of rushing because you had so much you wanted to share. But with such a speech like this, trauma or drama, you want to ask questions and pause and allow your audience to answer them internally so they can relate. If take those into consideration and act upon them, Jay, I have no doubt your next speech will blow anyone away. In conclusion, continue with your appearance, continue to be motivated, and continue to leave a call of action to your audience. Well done. Mr. Congressman.